Our thing that we're working on now is actually being able to produce the shrink can and finish it. Um, what we're going to do is take our our shrink sleeve that we created on the machine on the with the C2 comp system, and we're going to trim it down and seam it. So the first step is to trim it down, and we're going to do that by trimming the shrink the shrink sleeve down to the crop marks. Another thing when we're doing this, we actually leave a little bit of room at the top of area so we have an area to, to pull as we're shrinking to keep the, the shrink from getting wrinkles. So as you can see, see at the top of this sleeve, we left some area above the top of the shrink. The next step is to seam the shrink. What we do is take some of our heat resistant double sided tape and we cut it in half. This is half inch tape so we're going to cut it down to approximately a quarter of an inch. We'll put it on the edge of the sleeve. Turn it over, we'll flip it up, put the ruler over it to hold it flat so we can form our sleeve. We'll peel the double sided tape, and we'll create our sleeve. The next step is to open up the sleeve and slide it over the can. And we'll line it up to where it's just above the bottom of the can, like so. Before we actually shrink the can is we take the other half of the double-sided tape that we trimmed and we'll place it over the seam to protect it from splitting while we shrink it. And with the heat gun, you start at the bottom of the can and you can use a little bit of tension with your fingers on that clear part at the top to actually keep the wrinkles from forming as you're shrinking. take an X-Acto knife and trim the excess. Off the top of the can and then we'll finish it off again with the heat. pull that layer off. And there's a shrink can.